squish it all in, squish all the excess out. Don't ring it, you'll damage your filter. TV here. I'm gonna do a little bit of. Uh, I'm gonna change out the uh, filter on the root today. That uh, KNN has just not been a good filter at all. So carbs might need a little bit of adjusting, but I'm gonna change out the filter for the stock one. And also back here, you can see right there, the Fairlead the bracket for the Fairlead. Every time I mess up and crank the plow up too high, it bends the fair lead back. Weak steel or something, so I'm going to bend that back out. That won't be too hard, but I'm going to do a little bit. Something anyways. Too cold to be outside and it's still winter. Oh well. Be a bit for spring yet. All right, you can see when I've pulled it in too far, I've kind of killed the uh, the wrapping on the rope or on the line. Bend this back towards the the winch isn't good, so I'll show you how easily this bends, just like that. That's how easy it bends. So. I don't know if I can get another plate to go on top of here and go over, make this thicker or what. But I'll just have to try not to uh, crank it in so far. It's hard to judge where this plow is at times. But so far, it's worked all right. Just like that. Okay, so I think I got this thing. It doesn't interfere with this handle anymore because this was swiveling. So I had to tighten this up. And that was causing this to all rip. And still not sure why this thing was bending over. But I guess I went too high with it. But so it should be good now. Hopefully this won't turn. Otherwise I'm just going to weld it. <laughs> weld it so it don't turn. But uh that should be good now. So this is the K&N filter that I do not like. It's been the cause of everything. I'll pull this off and I'll show you what I mean. What we had to do just to try and get it sealed properly it sucked all the dirt into the engine and that's what did in the valves and the piston and rings that properly. There's a, a lip here. We had to put this foam on here just to get it and put some uh, grease on there to get it to sit down properly down here to seal. So and these are famous for they let in a lot of air but they also let in a lot of dust and dust and fine grit will do your rings in in no time. So it's time to retire that one and put the proper one on here. Okay, so the K&N filter, you're done. And time to put the new one on. And we're looking way down in there. And yeah, recovered the washer. <laughs> 
So also this seal, the seal's the lid on, if I can get it with the greasy edge there. It was damaged in this corner, as you can see. So I got a new one of those right there, supposedly. Got a filter. We got a lid for the filter. So in theory, this filter is supposed to fit nicely on there. We shall see. I'll have to oil it up, but that's nice. That's better. on top and then the screw in the bolt. And that's how it's supposed to look. I'll have to oil this up though. This is what I've been using foam filter oil for ages. Never had an issue with it. Just uh, pour it on the filter and then you squish it all in. Squish all the excess out. Don't ring it. You'll damage the filter. And then uh, it's good to go. But you got to make sure that you get the excess out of there, or it's going to be too thick and it won't breathe at all. goes everywhere on the new filter and I just uh, when I clean them I clean them with kerosene you squish out the kerosene and then you let it dry and then you put the, the oil on and then let it dry so I've just got a light coat on that'll keep the dust from going in. And remember, don't ring it, just squish it. So that's pretty good there. And then the, the leftover oil can be recycled. So I'm just gonna let that dry for a little bit and then I'll be putting it in. And in the meantime, There's the new gasket. Got a little bit of uh, grease on there. I'm gonna put some grease around it. So I like using the white lithium grease. It's waterproof, it won't wash out. It seals well. You don't need a lot. Just a little film. stretch it out too much. There we go. So 
Now we got the new seal and it's all greased up. So you should be cleaning up and oiling your filter after every one or two rides depending on the conditions you do. If you do a lot of dusty stuff especially or through the bush and you start sucking in all the leaves and twigs and everything, clean it up makes a big difference. So we got a little bit of grease down there already on the bottom. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Gonna push it down, make sure it's in there good. On top. And our newfound washer. You actually don't need that big washer, I don't think so. This one's got a little rubber washer on it, but I like putting it on. And don't strip it, snug it up good, and there we go. Back to stock. Make sure you clean up your air box too if there's garbage in there, which there probably will be. Make sure it's fitted properly. Flip it in, and you're good to go. Okay, quick little video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe it was helpful, maybe not, but it's something anyway, so hopefully this thing runs a bit better. If not, I'll have to adjust the, the carb a bit. The air screw probably letting a little too, it's in too much. Need to let it out a bit, it's a little lean. But this is a cold weather that does it too, so. Anyways, thanks for watching.